All right, guys. Hello. Welcome to 17.3. We continue uh, with American leadership here. We're starting out with Douglas MacArthur. Uh, he was a commander. Here he, you see him returning to the Philippines. Um, he originally got kicked off the island of the Philippines by the Japanese, and he was famously famous for saying, I shall return. And here he is uh, returning as he's wading through the ocean, uh, triumphantly returning to liberate the Philippines from uh, Japanese forces. Chester Nimitz. We have all sorts of things named after him. Nimitz Boulevard, the Nimitz class uh, destroyers, uh, commander of American naval forces in the Pacific. So big time person, very, very important in the military. Battle of Midway. Now here you can see where Midway is, you know, sort of midway between Japan and Hawaii, kind of. I guess it's a little closer to Hawaii. Um, and this is a very, very important island um, because it was closer to Japan and didn't quite get Japan in striking range yet, but it, it really sort of showed that, that we were now taking back some of these smaller islands that Japan had successfully uh, captured before. And for many people, it really was uh, a turning point in the Pacific War in favor uh, of the United States. Uh, a, a major victory, very costly, but still a major victory uh, for the United States. Kamikaze, as I think we know uh, all too well about that, uh, Japanese suicide flight. And the thing about kamikaze, it was not very effective for one, but two, Japan could not afford to lose all these raw materials they were losing, as well as trained fighters. And every time, you know, a kamikaze uh, mission, you know, went out, you know, are you really going to hurt that many ships? And, and, you know, some ships were hurt, but a lot of times you can see here with this picture, you know, there's a little bit of damage, but um, the ship still seems like it's in pretty good shape there. Uh, J. Robert Oppenheimer. Now, he was a scientist, the main scientist who led and organized the Manhattan Project, which, of course, as you remember, was to build uh, the nuclear bomb. Hiroshima, the first city uh, that was the uh, attack site of a nuclear bomb, the first atomic uh, bomb dropped in Japan. And as you can see, these are this is like an entire city block right here. And as you can see, multiple city blocks just as far as the eye can see, uh, just completely leveled. And the Japanese did not surrender after this. In fact, they tried to convince other people in Japan that it was just some weird sort of uh, natural event, like an earthquake or something like that. Uh, and so, unfortunately, and this is very controversial, you know, the decision to drop one bomb on Hiroshima, uh, was that a good idea, was that a bad idea? even more controversial, was the second bomb, Nagasaki. And again, you can see what looks to be just utter devastation for, you know, blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks, and just everywhere you see. Uh, and that was the site of the second bomb. And they did, Japan did surrender uh, after the second bomb was dropped. Enola Gay. Whoops, this is not the American commander in the Philippines. So sorry about that. That's terrible. Uh, the Enola Gay was the plane that dropped the bomb um, on Hiroshima. I don't even know how that happened. I apologize for that. Uh, there we go. Now we're back on, on track there. Uh, the Nuremberg Trials. Uh, trials for uh, Nazi leaders. Tried them for war crimes. And this was famous because... There had to be some sort of idea of what's going to happen to these people. They just can't be allowed to go free. Uh, and many were tried, and uh, several uh, were actually executed after they were found guilty. And that's it for today. Thank you.